Welcome to Dr. Mary Travel Best's Five Steps to Solo Travel Guide for people like you who need extra support traveling one at a time. Please share this podcast. I appreciate your feedback and travel questions as I write a workbook and third book, Part C, about my 90 days around the world. In this episode, the FAQ says that one of our followers does not fly much. She asked me, what's the best seat on the plane? Today's destination is Marietta, Georgia. Today's misstep, on Southwest, I paid twice for the internet. And travel advice, get a good night's sleep on the road with a clear head in bed. And now the FAQ. What's the best seat on the plane? That was asked by someone who doesn't fly much. And here's my response. I think the best seat is a window seat. Now, you may prefer an aisle if you want to stretch your legs and walk around the cabin. On Southwest Airlines, there are no assigned seats, so you get the seat you want if you're one of the first to board. Now, I love looking out the window, and I feel I have more privacy with that view. I also have at least one elbow rest that I can use. When I fly on a budget airline, they ask me to buy a seat, but I rarely do that. They often seat me in the middle, but sometimes I get lucky. And now, let's talk about Marietta, Georgia, today's destination. I spent the day in Marietta, Georgia at the historic homes and cafe market by the old train station. Marietta Square is full of great local food stalls. I had a very fresh poke bowl. The city has charm, touristy vibes, and a local's flavor. Now, people settle here because they like the small town feel. It's north of Atlanta, about 46 kilometers or 29 miles away. You can take MARTA from the airport and then transfer to Arts Station, Arts Center Station, to the bus, which will take you to the Marietta Transfer Center. And there's plenty of Airbnbs and hotels that will host you here. If you have a car, drive to Kennesaw. It's about 10 minutes drive past. Now, in Kennesaw, there's a lot of things to do. I may do a special episode just on that area. I got a chance to go on a hike, and I met Nicole and Casey. They run the Blue Pineapple Travel Agency, and they were hiking ahead of me in Kennesaw. I asked them, does this trail lead back to the visitor center? And they said yes. So we started walking and talking, and before you knew it, we were old friends. And now, today's misstep. I was working on a Southwest Airlines flight, and I paid for the internet twice. So this was the first time that I had used and paid for the internet on a flight. I used my Southwest Airlines mobile app to pay for it because that was most convenient. I had some trouble getting it, and a flight attendant helped me out. And then I told them I wanted to use my laptop for work, so I had to purchase a second time for that service. Now, each was only $8, and they did offer me a refund when I asked for it. It took only about 15 minutes to request it, and it should appear on next month's credit card statement as a refund. I hope they get those bugs worked out and explain what the process is for future travelers. And now, today's travel advice. Get a good night's sleep on the road with a clear head in bed. When your head hits the pillow, make sure your brain is relaxed. So wind down your screen time at least a half hour before and take a minute to think about what you're grateful for. That will give you a clear head and a good night's sleep most of the time when you travel. I wanna bring meaning to your travels, so send me a question or a travel tip. You can connect with me on my website, on my private Facebook group or Facebook page or Instagram. And you can also find me on all the other social channels as well as on Amazon. There are five steps 
to solo travel series products there and show notes have more details for you to connect. What's on your travel bucket list? Tell the doctor and her team of women who travel the world seeking the very best. Dr. Travel Best, that is.